SONS Jungle Movement. The Q&A answers, man. Let me see, man. I gotta read these off, man. My nigga Swante came through. Montreal came through. Fuck with you too, my nigga. Finesse. Finesse kid. Where do you see yourself in a few months from now? At the top of the game, man. What? A few months from now? Let's say. Let's say three months from now. First L5. Me and the boy Ambu, first L5 teammates, man. Show them the setup, Z. Show them the setup, man. You see how the setup is, man? Locked in. You see those two TVs, the two PS4s? Locked in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to call nobody. We're going to just run the tools until I got a friend or sick bot. Somebody get on young. My my true S1. I, I'm not really going to be run, running with subs. I'm not going to really be running with randoms. Because I got to win. You know what I'm saying? I have to win. And, 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 you know, I can't play with people that I really don't have chemistry with. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you already know. Locked in. 10, 15 hour days. First L5. In a few months from now, first L5 teammates that 2K ever seen. And we're going to see what go from there. But I think that might put a nigga at the top of the game, bro. The top of the game. <clears throat> um... Andrew, who's your favorite point guard of all time is your question. I got to go with Kyrie, man. I really was never a point guard guy. Like, uh, the first guy I rocked with was Kevin, Dur Kevin Garnett. Kevin, Kevin Garnett, that was my first guy with the Timberwolves. <clears throat> I just loved his energy and how he acted and all that stuff. KG Knees got too bad for me. I can't rock with him no more. He played 10 minutes a game. Then I started rocking with my nigga Melo. So right now it's like my favorite player is Melo, but favorite point guard I'll go with Kyrie. I rock with Kyrie all day. Congrats, my nigga Glory One Race. Oh, what's good, Lavelle? Describe NBA Live 16 in one word: death. Death. Green screen? Nah, 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 nah. Your mama stink. <laughs> this nigga retarded. C Jizzle BMG, my guy. How do it feel to be the best my player in 2K? And did you know you was going to rise to fame like this when you started? I, I figured, like, once my gameplay get out, that I was going to rise to fame. But I figured that was going to take about a year and a half, two years. Because, bro, the numbers I was putting up on 2K was ridiculous. And I thought it was just going to take way longer to ever get noticed because wasn't nobody really paying attention. And I, and I understand that, like, 2K16 was a park game. Like, as far as the media go, it was a park game. That's where all the hype was, the park. And hopefully I could turn that hype to my career in 17, you know what I'm saying? They put me out there. They giving me the, the floor to shine. Hopefully I can make that, you know what I'm saying? Because, once again, I will always say my career, Hall of Fame difficulty, is the most hardest mode to play on 2K. Hands down. Everybody know that. Some people will be a nut and say, no, that's not true. You, you got to be kidding me. But uh, I didn't. I figured that I would get the spotlight at some point in life, but not this fast, bro. This fast. This is like a true blessing. That's crazy. Uh, Brent Fitzpatrick, congrats. Cool Breeze was good with you. How do you feel about 2K becoming competitive? I love it. Because you get to show if you really better than somebody else. I just, I just wish, you know, one thing I wish that they put the park difficulty on Hall of Fame. That would really clear out the noobs, you know what I'm saying? But then again, that'll really clear out people wanting to play the game. Uh, it'll be too hard. But um, I love it. That is not being a show of uh, luck. It's being a show of talent now. I love it. That's, that's big. So this Pro-Am, this Pro-Am year is about to show who really could play the game. Most definitely. I stacks Fox, would you link up in... Fox, we need to link up 2K17. I'm trying to run park with your sons. We the best. Hit me up, bro. Because after I'm done doing a... I don't know if you're on my friend list or not, but I, I accept everybody. I blocked a lot of niggas, bro. Like, hold on. Let me show y'all niggas something. I'm telling... Just because I'm saying that... Uh, I'm telling you to hit me up. Where is my look at my look at my block list, man? You see my block list? 
I blocked a lot of these niggas, bro. These is niggas that added me and keep inviting me to fucking uh, group chats and all that stuff, bro. I can't do it. I can't do it. Just showing you guys, please, please, please. If I add you guys, if I add you guys, don't add me to a group chat with 80 people just to show a picture of somebody in the park, bro. Like my notifications go crazy. I hate that. But add me and hit me direct. You can hit me direct all day, one on one. We can do that all day, my nigga. But hit me up, bro, because I'm most definitely going to rock with my niggas at some point in 2K17. I just need to do that grind first. You know what I'm saying? What made you start YouTube? Also, forget about Sean, man. He not valid right now. Paul. Yeah, Sean is... He going to keep ducking. But uh, all that stuff with Sean back and forth is just the competitive spirit. You know what I'm saying? is isn't really no beef and all that. But uh, what made me start YouTube is actually a friend. A friend used to watch YouTube and watch the My Career games and watch stuff. And he actually, like, seen what I could do on My Career and was just like, why don't you upload any of this? And I was like, why? You know what I'm saying? Then I started getting on and I'm looking at cats and I'm looking at their numbers and their stats. And I'm like, yo, can I blow up if I, you know what I'm saying, if I start uploading? Because it was never no diss to nobody that do the My Career. But clear as day, nobody does anything near what I could do with the numbers and with the winning streaks and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what really made me start doing it. I would have never did it if it wasn't for one of my friends to come and just be like, yo, you need to upload because your numbers is way crazier than anybody he ever seen on YouTube. So that's how I did that. Phantom Slice was good, boss. He came through. Congratulations, Yuzi. My nigga, S1S. First, I want to say sons growing. Second, my question is, how does it feel to be the only... 2k sub to be invited to community day and meet the other dudes in person and how did it feel when dudes like shaking them tell you that they knew who you was about your channel it, it was crazy i didn't know if they was gonna come in because i mean you know i'll be on niggas comments and stuff trying to get noticed so i'll be talking but uh i didn't know they was gonna actually come in and actually know who i was you know what i'm saying but it could have been you know what i'm saying that uh when everybody got named everybody looked into each other but it was big, uh, and to be invited at 2K, under 2K, it was under 2K subs when I got invited, but to be invited with subs that low, it's just a blessing, bro, but I mean, talent, bro, talent, it was talent over time, and that's what it is, you know what I'm saying, I mean, like I said, who could, people could be like, yo, bro, other people put in more time, but talent-wise, why wouldn't I have got chosen, one of a kind, you know what I'm saying, so... That was really Congratulations, been here since December, my nigga Shadow. My question is, do you have any funny stories from when you were young? Y'all want me to do a story time? I don't know. Y'all tell me if y'all want, of course. I mean, everybody got a story. And plus, I'm 60 years old, my nigga. I've been here for 60 years. I got a story or two that I could tell, tell y'all niggas. But, uh, I mean, I won't do it now, but of course, yeah, of course. I got childhood stories and friends doing wild shit all day. But if y'all want me to do that, let me know, man. I could do that. Mars the Gamer, congrats, K Glory was good. My question is, will you play stream Madden when it comes out? Madden been out for a while, right? And I don't know, bro. Like, I think when I get established and could like venture off into other games and stuff like that, I'll do that. I wanted to play Madden this year, but it's just not. I'm watching footage of it. It's just not. I don't know. It's not exciting to me. It doesn't make me want to go play it. It is what it is. Somebody said people play Madden just to kill time until 2K drop, and I think that's what Madden is here for, just to kill time. So, I don't know. Maybe one day, bro. Jacob, congrats. Was good. Dweezy the GOAT, congrats. STZ Gaming, congrats. Andrew, congrats. LaVille, do you play Madden? Nah, I don't play. Sean 100, do you still fuck with SONS, and do they play 2K with you? Well, uh, Bricks... Bricks play 2K. I haven't played with him yet. I got to get with him. Dead Man is getting on 2K. Me and Conceited played a couple uh, streams. But yeah, as as in person, as my niggas, yeah, all day. That's someone that's all day. That's they're my niggas to the death, bro. So yeah, I, I mess with them all day. Nick Ross said, my question, how does it feel to play with the best Pro-Am center, Buckethead? The best Pro-Am center. And I replied to him, Answer is can't be the best center when you have a small forward down 12 to 18 and lose the game. You was beating me 12 to 18 and you still lost, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
But uh, Buckethead is he's a uh, he's a good rebounder, and um, I guess that's where the party stops. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was good. Nigga, you trash, boy. Hey, man, could you tell me what software you use to edit your videos and how do you record your gameplay? The Nick Flair. The Nick Flair. Amazing name. Um, I use this, bro. See this? Aver Media Capture Card. I'm all the way out the loop. Everybody use Elgato's. That's what I use. I use something that Street Fighter players use. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It works. And whatever on the computer is the Sony Vegas Studio, something like that. Sony Vegas Studio, something like that. I don't know nothing about technology, bro. My friend came and showed me how to do it, and that's that's why my edit skills is terrible. But Aver Media Capture Card, and to edit the videos once it's on the laptop is the Sony Video, Sony Vegas Video, something like that. I don't know, bro. Something like that. I'm sure if you put those words together, you'll find something. But, uh, Ty Boogie was good. Young Kobe was good. I don't know. Was good. Um, Jordan Fletcher, next year is mine. Mitch, yo, Fox is your boy, Mitch. And what made you make a small forward and how are you so go in my part? Love what you're doing and keep it up. I think you tried to say good. What made me make a small forward is, like, really, when I, like, this was the first year that I ever went to, like, play Pro-Am and, and park and stuff like that. I never ventured out to that, to online gameplay like that. I only played my career ever since I've been playing 2K. But, um, I, for the reason that I make small forwards is because LeBron James and Kevin Durant, Melo, the, the, the elite, I think the top elite, the most powerful positions that like if you want a real competition it is at the small forward position so I will play small forward to play against them like LeBron James is labeled the best I'm never going to play with LeBron I want to play against him so that's why I make small forward you know what I'm saying that, that was my initial reason and then now what made me want to keep a small forward and not change my position is that everybody said the position was broke so I love to play the position that was broke and still dominate you know what I'm saying being the shortest small forward ever created so like that was my reason for making a small forward. What made you start YouTube? I think I answered that. How to how to with Alex? How to with Alex 24? Yeah, my friend, bro. My friend came through, told me I should start uploading. Goku in the flesh. Sons, we out here. And my question is, how did you get so good at rapping? I don't know. Bro, I I found out. I don't know. I think I was like 20 years old or something when I found out I could even rhyme. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Like, it's just there. I don't think you can be taught it. I think it's just there sometimes. So I, I you can't get taught it because I, I know I didn't. I just one day, um, back in the day, I was talking to this girl on his website and this nigga came through and wrote a rap about me. I don't know why the nigga wrote a rap about me and then she got in my inbox and was like, yo, make a rap back. Like, it'll be hot for the page. I'm like, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not even a rapper. And she was like, just try it. So, I tried it and when I started writing, I was like, yo, I'm killing this nigga. And it just took off from there. I was just so pumped and stuff. Started writing for other niggas in my city, niggas that rap in my city and stuff and started going at them and it just went from there, bro. Uh, Zui, it's Zui, I don't know, bro, you're killing me with that name, you're gonna smash 2K17, my career, most definitely, I will, uh, Michael D, congrats, was good, T. Cole, salute homie from Battle Rap to Gaming Sub, been rocking with Sons for a minute, I appreciate it, Travis Evans, what's going on, too old to game, was good, and I think that's it, yeah, that's it, man. S to and S, we the best excuse, Khaled. If uh, if y'all want me to do a story time about some goofballs I had in my life, I can. Scream at your boy, S to and S, we the best. 2K17 will be my year. Where I'm going to be at in a few months, at the top. At the top, man. Salute. Yo.